Hey, I'm Trey Ratcliffe. Let me take you over to my studio and I'll tell you a story. So, when I got started with photography about 10 years ago, I was really confused why my photos suck so bad, you know? It was such a beautiful world and all my photos felt very flat and unemotional. And so, that started me on this 10-year quest to kind of try to find the ultimate software. So like a lot of you guys, I've tried every conceivable piece of software that's out there for HDR and I've always found them all a little bit lacking in some way. So now, I've actually built my own and it's super exciting. It's called Aurora HDR and we partnered up with Mac Fun and out here in the cottage, I've been working at it for the past year and it is unbelievable. I've been all around the world testing out the software in every possible kind of situation, every landscape situation. Um, city, people, everything. And probably one of the coolest things about software is that you don't have to use Photoshop or Lightroom at all. It's all in there. There's so many cool gizmos and gadgets in there. Um, it's unbelievable. Even, you know, those, some people know my photos and they kind of have like this fairy tale glow to them. Well, even that's in there. It's unbelievable. Well, anyway, so let's go inside and I'll show you what it's all about. Welcome into my screen, my internet friends. We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show you Aurora HDR, some of the coolest stuff about it. If you hang on to the end, I'll point you to another video where I actually do a really quick tutorial. I'll do some end-to-end -end stuff so you can see actually how it works. So this will be ever so quick. All right, so here it is. And I'm gonna load some sample images. Uh, the program itself comes with sample images. These are three images that I took in London, all right? There we go, dark, medium, and bright. Um, you can do all kinds of alignment and stuff, but we don't need to. Um, by the way, this works just with one photo as well. You don't have to have uh, three photos. All right, so here they come in. You can see how fast this is. It's just incredibly fast. And there we go. It's just almost immediately done, and we haven't done anything. Just for a point of reference, uh, this is where we're at now. I just made that full screen. Let me show you the original. Okay, so this is the original or the middle of those three exposures. Like this is the best shot I could get with a really good camera. And here we are back in Aurora HDR. Again, remember, I haven't moved a slider. I haven't done anything. It just came out like this. But now let me give you the quickest of tours here, all right? And we're back. Uh, one thing you might notice immediately is all the presets down here. We have many categories of presets. And again, you don't have to move any sliders. You can just play with the presets. They're a ton of fun. And if you get the pro version, you get my presets. All right, so what's going on over here? Well, we've got just a ton of tools. We've got tools out the wazoo. It's unbelievable. So probably the hottest area down here is like the structure and tone mapping area here, all right? Um, for example, you can go super strong with your HDR look, right? You can just amp that one up, or you can dial it back. You know, take it easy, cowboy. Just dial it right on back. You have to do what you want. And this is just one slider, I won't show you anymore. I, I will in the, in the next tutorials that we'll link to. Um, but one of the greatest things about this is because we have so many tools and so much power, you don't need to use Photoshop. You don't need to use Lightroom. We have all those same basic controls in here. We even have layers if you wanna do something in one area, but not in another. Um, a lot of the basic Lightroom controls that you're used to here in the tone area. We have this awesome thing called HDR denoise that is unbelievable. I'll show you how fast it is. Oh my gosh, your mind will be blown. Image radiance, this is where you get that kind of glowy fairy tale look that I like so much. A lot of these color controls and detail controls that you might be used to from Lightroom, very basic stuff, basic photo editing stuff. You know, you can crop in here, you can do all that stuff. Um, this is where you add sort of another magical glow, sort of a night glow, top and bottom lighting. Uh, we want to put this in because a lot of times in HDR photos, you want just a different treatment on the top of the photo as opposed to the bottom of the photo. We have tone curves, all the color filter stuff you're used to, color toning, so you can do cross-process looks, vignetting, man, we have got it all in here, all right? And before you leave, let me show you a few photos that I only processed with Aurora HDR Pro. You'll find out more about these in future tutorials too. This is in Venice. Uh, this is near my home. This is Mount Cook in New Zealand. This is the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. What a place. Uh, this is down in Bora Bora. This is in Shackleton's Hut in Antarctica. This one actually has eight exposures that went into it, so that's kind of a fun one. This is a, a fabulous museum in Paris. Uh, this is Antarctica. This is 
London, is it Tower Bridge? Uh, this is the, a, the marina in Dubai. I took this one just a few days ago um, in Ohau Valley here in the South Island of New Zealand. This is with a quadcopter. And this is the last one I'll share with you. This is in Hobbiton in the Shire. What a cozy place. What a cozy place for HDR. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Hey everybody, come on and check out the full deep dive and you can see what all the controls do and how much fun this thing is. See you soon.